this video, we'll be talking about how to create and build attachments that fit loosely on the robot so you can put them on and take them off easily, as well as how to build attachments that can complete missions without using a motor. So for this video, we'll be using the uh, this box, this green box, as an example of the robot. So first, we're going to talk about um, how to create attachments that fit loosely on the robot. So the first example is where we have some sort of groove technique. So we have a groove on the robot and a piece that fits into it as an attachment. And it just fits easily on and it doesn't really fall off and it uses gravity. So it fits in the groove and the groove kind of limits the space it moves in. So it's easy to take on and put off. So next, we have the use of these blue pegs. So as, we, as you can see, these blue pegs have the peg side on the attachment, whereas the axle part is sticking out. So this way, we can just attach it on loosely. And it uses gravity once again. And since these axles fit loosely in these beams, beam holes, you can put it on and take it off really easily. As for attachments that go in front or on the side of a robot, we can use this technique where we have holes on the side of the robot and we use axles to go into those holes. This way, the axles have really little friction against the holes and we can put it in and take out really easily. So now we'll teach you how to make attachments that won't require the use of a motor and can still complete a mission. So many years there's always like a loop in the mission where you have to usually pick it up and return it back to base. And most teams think you have to have something that goes through the loop and pick it up because after all it is a loop with a hole inside and that's usually your first um, impression. But in fact there's a lot of ways you can complete the mission depending on what the mission is. So there are a lot of ways where you can complete it um, for example, if you want to take it back to base with, through the use of an attachment that doesn't require a motor. So one example is where we have a hook on the attachment that as the robot drives along, it just brings along with it. Notice how we don't have an extra motor to pick up the loop. We can also have some sort of scooper that scoops up the ring and delivers it to the spot. So another example of a mission that you can do without a motor is something where we have something that needs to be pushed. For example, this wheel on the stick. So usually when you have some sort of pushing action, you can just do it with the base robot and have just the base robot push the wheel. That way you don't have to have some sort of arm pushing the button and you could just use the robot itself to push it. One last example is where we have a couple pieces that we want to deliver to some area. And through this, we could just use a scooper mechanism to just scoop up the pieces and deliver to the spot. Now we have to keep in mind that the robot has to always drive forward because the moment it backs off, then it'll leave the pieces there. So that's how you can deliver the pieces to the spot. Thank you.